Hello and welcome. The great thing about this job is the only tool you're going to need is a 15 millimeter wrench. So for today's project, we're going to be using this O'Reilly High Mileage 10W30 oil. This car takes eight quarts, so we have five here, six, seven, and eight. We also have the MicroGuard MGL51522. So since this is just a play car, um, I picked it up for 150 bucks. I'm just using the cheapest oil I could find and the cheapest filter I could find. Okay, so I just opened up my new MicroGuard uh, MGL51522 and it's slightly bigger than the one that was in there. It's okay because it doesn't have any tight spaces it needs to be in. Um, also, this is the one that's supposed to be in the car, so I don't know why that one's in the car. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put it up on either jack stands or up on these ramps. I have the ramps, so I'm going to utilize those. Once you have your car up on the ramps, it's easy to get down to the oil pan bolt. Also, don't forget to set your parking brake. There we go, all set. Now, I already had my hood popped, but this is the hood pop lever right there. And the hood's gonna pop up just a little bit. Right here, I'm missing my grill. But right under here, there's a lever. It pushes this right here. Push that up and lift up. Most of these cars have hydraulics, and these hydraulics are still good, so it lifts up by itself. In an older car, this is an older car, but in an even older car that has hydraulics, the hydraulics might not be good anymore, so you might have to lift up by yourself and use a stick to prop it up. All right, the next step in the process is getting up under here and finding the oil pan drain bolt, which is actually right here. So from the front of the car, it's gonna be slightly to the left. All right, so once you get your oil drain bucket, get a 15 millimeter wrench. That's what fits this. I'm not sure if that's what comes from the factory since I bought this car used. And we're gonna give it a little uh, couple taps and see if we can get it loose. Ouch. All right. As you can see there, it's getting loose. So we're gonna loosen it up a little bit. Now we can pull it out by hand. I don't have any rubber gloves. Rubber gloves are the best things to use for this. But we can just Pull it out by hand now, so you just unscrew it, lefty-loosey, righty-tighty. Always make sure the engine's cold or, or relatively cool when you do this. That was pretty smooth. So we're just going to let that oil drain into the oil catcher and then we'll move on to the next part. Okay, so while that's draining, if you look up just in front of that towards the front of the car, you can see right here, here is the oil filter. So we got to unscrew that and get that down as well. We'll wait for this to drain though so we can put the bolt back in. That way oil's not leaking everywhere because when you pull this off, oil's going to come out of that too. Alright, so we have this oil just trickling out now. Uh, we don't need to get every last bit of it. Uh, so we're going to clean off the bolt and put it back in. Alright, so I've hand tightened the bolt right now. I'm going to tighten it up with the wrench. And then we're going to clear off this little extra bit that's on the, on the outside here. Alright, now that we have the bolt in and we have it cleaned off a little bit, we're going to go to the filter. Unscrew that. We're going to put the oil drain bucket right underneath that. So when the oil comes out, it'll just fall right into the bucket. All right, luckily it wasn't on there too tight, so we could just unscrew it. And now we're just waiting for the oil to drain out of there into the oil drain pan here. All right, so before you install the new filter, you wanna get some of the old oil or even some of the new oil. You wanna put it on this rim right here, just so it has a good seal. Um, it won't dry out as easy. Uh, the rubber seal that goes around this, uh, just put some used oil or even some new oil on there. Uh, put it around there and it should have a good tight seal on it. Just stick that on there and start screwing it on. Yeah, this is definitely the size that's supposed to be on here because it sticks down a lot farther and it's a lot easier to grip onto. This doesn't need to be really tight, it just needs to be tight enough that just hand tight really. Just 
like that. I don't know how many pounds of pressure that is, but it's not gonna rattle off there anyway. All right, so now that we're finished underneath, we need to put in the new oil. Well, that's it for this video. Well, that's it for this video. I wanna thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned and I'll have plenty more videos about this vehicle, the 99 Cadillac DeVille, coming up soon. Down in the description, down in the description below, I'm going to have a playlist of all of the videos I made with this 99 Cadillac DeVille and all the repairs we made on it. All the how-tos and all the repairs we did on it. In this in the description down below we're gonna have in the description down below I'm gonna have a playlist with all of the videos that I made about this vehicle, all the how to's and all the repairs that I've done to this car. Thank you for watching. Now what's nice about this engine is the engine oil filler is right here. So we just unscrew that, plop it off, just set it aside. And then we can start adding our eight quarts of oil. One neat trick I've learned over the years is you can actually use the first quart of oil that you put in the car. You can actually cut the bottom off that and just use it as a funnel. All right, so the bottom's off that. We still have the lid on. We'll put it back in, and then we'll pour the rest into it. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the car off the ramps. Alright, so now it's time to check the oil with what we put in there. Get a dirty ass rag, because that's all I have. <laughs> I could go get a clean one, but I'm not gonna. Um, you know, wipe off the dipstick here. My driveway is on a bit of an angle, so we're gonna, we're gonna judge it with that angle in mind. And lift it up here. So it looks like we are a little low. I don't know if you guys can see that right there, but right there is where we're at. Right there is where we need to be. So I'm going to add the rest of that oil in there, just because it's not that much. It's about a half a quart, and we'll uh, see what it says then. All right, now that we have the rest of that oil in there, we can throw away our garbage. We'll put the engine oil cap back on, and then we'll check the oil. That's much better. It's right there at the max, right where it needs to be. Well, that's it. I want to thank you guys for watching this video.